Most people think that skipping food for a day or two will leave them feeling weak or dizzy, right? But guess what? Your body actually starts doing some amazing things when you stop eating. It's incredible. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what really happens to your body during a 36-hour fast. But before we dive into the fast, let me quickly explain what's happening inside your body every time you eat. You see, every time you eat carbs, like a piece of bread or a donut, your body breaks that food down into glucose and sends it into your bloodstream. Glucose, also called blood sugar or glycogen, is an energy source for your body. It's like fuel for your engine. The more carbs you eat, the more glucose you have in your blood. Your pancreas senses this spike in energy, so it responds by releasing insulin to bring the glucose down. Insulin's job is to bring down the glucose in your bloodstream by transporting it to your cells so they can use it as energy. It basically knocks on the door of your cells and goes, Hey cells, you can open up. It's time to refuel. But when you eat a lot of processed carbohydrates, insulin stays high all the time to regulate the blood glucose and, over time, your cells start to go deaf and stop hearing these knocks from insulin to open up and take in the excess glucose. To counter this, your body starts banging on the doors of your cells by releasing more and more insulin to try and get your cells to open up. This is what is called insulin resistance, which is the leading cause of several major chronic diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, and Alzheimer's disease, also called type 3 diabetes. Let me break this down in a way that actually makes sense. And it's going to blow your mind. Think of your body like a kitchen, and glucose as the food you need to store. First, glucose gets stocked in the liver, which is your fridge. When the fridge is full, insulin sends the extra glucose to your muscles, which is your freezer. And when those are full too, the remaining glucose gets stored in your fat cells, which is your pantry. Your muscles actually love glucose as a fuel and... They soak it up like a sponge. When you've got a lot of muscle, they absorb a lot of glucose and there's hardly any left to be stored as fat. But when you have less muscle mass, or your insulin is too high too often, your body has no choice but to store the extra glucose as fat. So if you're eating all the time and your insulin stays high, your body gets stuck in fat storage mode. For your body to access your pantry and burn this stored fat as fuel, you need to stop restocking your fridge every few hours by stop eating. Here's how the magic happens. When you stop eating, no snacks, no meals, insulin starts to drop. After about 15 hours, your body runs out of glucose in your liver and muscles and it needs to find a new energy source. That's when it flips the switch and starts burning your own fat for fuel. Yes, your body is that smart. Your fat cells literally shrink and release some of the fat in the form of triglycerides. These fat cells, or triglycerides, then travel to your liver which turns them into ketones. Think of ketones as an alternative source of fuel for your body that is super clean and way more efficient than glucose. It's like premium gas. At about 16 hours, there's no more food left to digest. And you'll probably notice that you feel light and active. Since digestion takes a lot of energy, your body can now finally use this extra energy to heal your mind and body. This is when a process called autophagy kicks in. It's like a cleaning crew for your cells. Your body starts breaking down old damaged cells and starts replacing them with new cells. It's like a deep clean from the inside out. Real detox, not the kind you see on juice bottles. Your energy starts to rise, your mind feels clearer, and your focus sharpens making you more productive. That's not just in your imagination. It's your body actually turning on the survival mode by heightening your senses, just like it did back in the day when we had to go out and hunt for food. Now, if you keep going and reach 24 hours, your gut joins the healing process. It begins a process called apoptosis a natural process where damaged cells in your digestive lining self-destruct and are replaced with new healthier cells. If you struggle with bloating or acid reflux, this can make a huge difference. By 30 hours, you're probably not hungry at all. That's because ghrelin, the hunger hormone, drops significantly. At the same time, your brain releases a protein called BDNF, which helps grow new brain cells. It's like a brain upgrade. You get this unreal mental clarity and your focus and memory gets a serious boost. 
By the time you hit 36 hours, your body is in full-on fat burning and healing mode. You're running on ketones, burning stored fat, your brain is dialed in and your cells are being cleaned and repaired. You're unstoppable. People with extra weight to lose can drop 3 to 4 kilos or 6 to 9 pounds by this point. Now, I'm not saying you should jump into a 36-hour fast right away. Start small. Try 12 hours, then 16 and 24 hours and slowly build up. Fasting is powerful, but you've got to be smart about it. Drink water with sea salt to keep your electrolytes in check. This will take care of any headaches. And here's a bonus tip. Try and go low-carb a few days before the fast. That'll make it way easier to handle those cravings. Also, just a quick heads up. Extended fasting is not recommended if you're pregnant, underweight, or have certain medical conditions. So always talk to your doctor first. What's the longest you've ever gone without eating? And how did you feel? Let me know in the comments. I'm excited to hear your stories. At AutoFit, I'm sharing all the tips to help you heal, reset, and transform your health naturally, one fast at a time. If this kind of health content speaks to you, please hit that subscribe button and share it with your loved ones.